Okay, this is my uh, vegetable greenhouse update. It's been about seven weeks. And this is how it looks inside. It's really cold out here. But inside is nice and warm. Got it all wired in. Keep the critters out and covered in plastic. And this is the whole greenhouse today. With the sun coming in real nice. Making the veggies look uh, fantastic. So there's my survivor windblown basil tree. <laughs> and it's making a comeback. And this is red romaine. So here we go. It's going to be quick. Red romaine, and that'll probably be my first crop. It's looking the biggest and the healthiest. It just uh, Everything in here looks great. Not a single bug hole or anything. No bugs. And that's the red romaine. This is a Korean green onion a friend gave me. Really huge. And he also gave me this grape that'll start growing in the fall, in the spring. Okay, after the red romaine is frise. This is frise. It's got the jagged leaves on it. Looks real tasty. And we come down to the next is Cimarron Romaine and it's uh, almost as big as the Red Romaine, not quite, along with the Green Romaine right here. It's called COS Romaine. And there's one row of endive down underneath this row of Romaine. You can see a couple of them right there and in the back back there. And next to the uh, endive is my favorite thing in the greenhouse maybe it's called green salad bowl lettuce anyway it's really exotic and lime green it's the lightest colored thing in here it's beautiful stuff can't wait to tear a head of that up it's only about four or five of them or six maybe and then next to that is uh radicchio this is the this is the uh Pala, Pala Rosa, uh, right up until this, where that point on that green tag is. And then next to it is just plain radicchio, which seems to be outgrowing the Pala Rosa, which is here. So, but they're, what a beautiful plant. Check these out. They're really swirly and not uniform and beautiful. Red and green. Okay, onward to the chicory. I have a small row of chicory here, and I don't know what chicory is. There you go. Doesn't grow real well, but uh, maybe it will in the spring, maybe. Next to the chicory is the Bloomdale spinach in this one row, right to here where the arrow's pointing. One row, and then one stray plant up there. And then the next row is giant winter uh, spinach okay then we're moving over here to the red onions you can see they're kind of hard to see but uh, they're pretty big they're getting there they're sticking up all through this field this is the sanded area that I sanded for the carrots and for the spinach because there's always sand on spinach so I put sand in there <laughs> And then the carrots, they like uh, to have a free uh, growth straight down. If they hit any rocks or sticks, they mix the uh, carrots crooked. So anyway, it's got a lot of sand in there and green sand and bone meal for the phosphorus for carrots. Then next to these carrots, these are all hand planted all the way back down the greenhouse. Those are all single plants that I put in there and they almost all grew. Just a few handful died. And then here's a bed of carrots that I just kind of threw the whole package of seeds out. And I'm going to have to thin them here in a few days when they get a little bigger. And there's four kinds. This row here is the rainbow carrots. Then there's three other kinds over to the corner. Then we look out the back door at the beautiful view. Yeah, that's nice. And over here to the other side of the greenhouse, these are the asparagus. 
that will take up to three years for the first crop. And they're just starting to come out and say howdy and sprout some leaves. There's a few of them. And up here are some uh, eggplant. I'm trying to get them going again. Uh, these actually were buried in the uh, pots that I had them in. They came up uh, two months after I planted all these other plants. And all my eggplant at the other end pretty much died except for the uh, the long purple eggplant. All the black beauties died except for one. So I have extras right there. And this area here is going to get potatoes. There's nothing in this small area right here. And then right up against a forest of leeks. You can see the leeks. Are, they just look like onions. But they'll grow real tall. Two feet. Have real thick stalks. It's a mild onion. And then up top, I've put all the tomatoes up on the shelf here. You can see them all the way to the other end. Uh, four different kinds and down below They still get all the Sun because uh, the tomatoes are on the wall <coughs> Excuse me <coughs> These are called peak perfection <coughs> And they're a red tomato and they're right above the beets And we'll move on down here we got kale right past the beets We've got uh, Italian gold tomatoes here. They've done real good. So the next two by four. And the kale is right up against the perfection cabbage. That's what this is called. And these are the San Marzano tomatoes. They look fantastic. They're growing really well. Those are the Italian golds up there on the wall right there. These ones here. They'll be a yellow tomato. And then the cabbage runs into the Romanesco, which is a kind of like a hard head. It's something between like a cauliflower and broccoli. It has a spiral pointed head on it, kind of like a conch shell. And above, above the Romanesco is the... Uh, Beefsteak tomatoes, which look just great. I didn't lose a single one. They look fantastic. And below them is the red cabbage, which are real pretty. This is the, the mother of cabbages right there. That's a big one. And then next to the cabbage is the cauliflower. These big, soft, rubbery leaves. And here are the... Uh, Broccoli Rob, probably the best growing thing in here. It's got these massive leaves. Look at that. It'll have a top that grows out kind of like a stringy broccoli. It's probably my favorite veggie in here besides maybe some of the carrots. Got one bean. It's trying to make a go at it, but uh, it's kind of slow. Then right below the block broccoli Rob is the rainbow chard. And you can see the two varieties right there a gold one and a red one they'll come up all different colors five colors and then beyond that are the purple broccoli and hopefully those would be nice and above the broccoli are the long purple eggplant these ones pretty much lived it was the uh, big black beauties over there in the corner all those four pots right there they all died except for one right there but I have extras at the other end I'm trying to make a go of those and then next to the purple broccoli is the green Swiss chard just normal Swiss chard looks good and then at the end regular broccoli there you go regular green green broccoli okay anyway that's how far I got probably pick some of this within two weeks or so. Thanks for watching.